Welcome to Pentor. I'm at a bike thing. You may recall a video from three years ago when I came here with the 1200, the Denali S-Force, D-Force fitted, sound bomb and the rear light. All fantastic gear, well worth it for any GS. Transferred uh, onto the 1250, but now today I'm going for some really tasty extras. Visor Technic indicators front and rear, which should be a lot safer. Um, we'll show you why. And uh, also, Jekyll and Hyde exhaust, so I can be as quiet, quieter than David. And much louder as well, as I wish. Let's see how we get on. So, if you do come to the bike thing to get your bike sorted and lots of nice goodies fitted, it's great coffee. A ride and grind. Bar. Back together, just uh, got to get it outside and then we can have a listen. How does it sound? Sounds good. Oh, very. That is seriously good. So, after a bike thing, I've done a few miles. The exhaust is quite something. The indicators look quite nice. Not quite as attractive as the originals, but you wouldn't really know. David's uh, got yeah, the originals, of course. Larger Slightly larger. They've got yeah. more gubbins in them, eh? Yeah. More gubbins. Yeah. But let's see what David thinks to the sound. Here we go. Are we ready? Right then. Here we go. Nice and quiet, eh, David? Yeah, the truck is still on. Yeah. Yeah, it's not loud, is it? No. Oh, hang on, let's quiet down. Oh, it's got a little bit of a bite to it, aren't it? A little bit, but it's quiet, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like a fur, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. When you're going through villages and uh, whatever, it's going to be lovely. Right then, are you going to do switch? Yeah, should we press the button? We'll probably get thrown out of Oakham now. Here we go, press this button. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear, throaty, ready? Yeah, yeah go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, it's deeper, isn't it? It it's is. Not, it's not stupid though. No, it's not stupidly loud, is it? No, but I should imagine when you're accelerating on, on the pull, then... Now, yeah, everybody thinks there's two 16-year-olds. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, that was that button there, wasn't it? That button there, press that. It goes quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite clever, really, isn't it? And then if we look at the indicators now, David, on yours and mine, You've got them on that mode. Yeah, that's a better mode. Yeah, so I've got this extra light down here, so there's still a light down there. Yeah, that was on anyway. That was just uh, add yeah. on. From the but now I've got to put the brakes on. You have the GoPro. I'll um, I'll pull the brake. So you can still see the indicator now, can't you? you can, yeah. 
Yeah. Go to the front. Lot, lot clearer. Yeah, and then yeah, go to the front. You've got that. Do you want to turn yours on? We'll compare the, the front difference. Yeah. See, you're not going to get confused. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, so really, these are on all the time, aren't they? And yep. Now let's just see what happens when you indicate When you indicate, it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's just that that... Yeah, they're on all the time, or you take... Yeah, we yeah. can't just keep... You've got no brake lights in the front. They're, they're a lot brighter, though, Martin. They are brighter, aren't they're they? They are more visible. And you've got... You've got, you know, clear running light, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, and it gives you an extra yeah. running light, which is not a bad thing, is it? Well, if you have any more lights on yeah. there, I think your battery will be going. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, and yeah. the rears. Let's go, go around the rears. Let's go and have a look at the rears. So really, I, mean, I think... it's a bright, sunny day. Yeah, pop, um, pop your... Oh, it's not very good here. Put your brake lights on while they're indicating. Yeah, indicating on the up. Yeah, indicating on. So you can't really... It's not very clear that it... No. When the brake light's not on, you can see. Yeah, but I think the night it's worse. The yeah, light's really bright. Really yeah, bright. yeah. Really That's it. But, yeah, this one, it turns completely off, so... Anyway, we ought to do some riding, Dave. Yeah, OK. Yeah, OK, he says. Dave is behind, and we're in town, so I've got the exhaust on the quiet setting. What do you think, David? Can't hear anything. Can't hear anything? Can you, can you just open the throttle a bit so I can hear something? Could you hear that? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> no? I can't hear anything from coming from your bike, honestly. Really? Well, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's just purring, um, from my point of view, sitting here. Lovely. Yeah, I, I can't hear anything, Mark. That's good, isn't it? It's lovely to be quiet when you want to be. Yeah, yeah, lovely, yeah. In the town or village or whatever. I think so, but most people tend to think a bit different because they say... Noise means you're you're seen and heard, doesn't it? You know? Yeah, well, you, you can soon uh, make it noisy if you. I can. can. I know that. I think yeah. that's going to be coming at some point. Yeah, we'll have to press the button. I think it's got to happen. Yeah. <laughs> when we get out of town, <laughs> quietly by a school. We don't want to disturb any classrooms. Deep in the study, do we? No. Right. Right. So, all right, shall we press the button, David? Oh, here we go then. All right, you ready? Here we are. I'm pressing the button. Uh, 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 nationals, that bit. Here we are. It's pressed. Yeah, I can hear you all of a sudden. That's a <laughs> bit louder, is it? Yes, I can hear you all of a sudden, Mark. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, like I say, it's not... It's not that loud. It's not nuts, is it? No, you it's know. not nuts, no, but it's, no. uh, it's a nice... It's a nice volume, actually. I think I've got it just right. Yeah. Of course, if you go for the D-cat, as they call it, you know, if you go for downpipes, so there's no catalytic converter anymore, which is highly illegal, no doubt, but you can do it. Um, that lets it flow the gases even better, and it's a bit louder again. Oh, is it? Certainly on you know, the loud setting, it's a bit, yeah, a bit, bit more volume. Um, and with that system you've got now, should you want to revert to your childhood, can you take the baffles out or not? Or is there such thing as baffles in it? Uh, no, that, what that valve does, that's going straight through. Right. No, so basically that is like having baffles out. So it pops nicely, doesn't it? Did, did you hear yeah. the popping? Yeah. You can hear it there. <laughs> I think it's a bit pokier, you know. Aha! Uh -huh. Horsepower? Yeah, a bit more, bit more pull. It's a lovely village, isn't it? I should have it on quiet through there. There we go. 
Back on quiet, David, through the village. <laughs> bit late, we're there going out of it. Oh yeah, I'll turn it back on now. Too late now, Martin, that all those night shift workers are awake. Whoops. I guess when it's got the flap open, it probably breathes a little bit better. Ooh, look at that. That's a bit of a crest of a, a hill, isn't it? There, yeah. We don't get them back at home, do we? No, this, look at this lovely road. Yeah. That's why it's nice to come to Rutland, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to slow down, David. There's a wet bit. The trouble at these bottoms. My bike's already dirty. You're going to have to slow right down for that. <laughs> Dave was First gear. Dave was avoiding it. First gear. And then I look behind me, and since ever I can't see a, 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 a damp trail, then I open the throttle a bit, you see, Mark. Oh, good. It was washed twice yesterday, so <laughs> hopefully... <laughs> hopefully... <laughs> I think Not today. I reckon you'll wash it again tonight or tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what the weather does before we get home, Mark. Well, yes. Right, we've got to go quiet again as a village. Look. Oh, it does go lovely and quiet, David. Yeah, I like not disturbing the peace. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. I'm trying to keep my throttle closed in a high gear and throttle closed to try and match your... To match my silence. Yeah. <laughs> It's quiet though, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. That's what attracted me to it, you know. It's, it's all well and good having a louder exhaust, but having one that you could quieten down, especially on a, a bike like the GS, where you might want to do, you know, a lot of miles and not have it booming in your ear. That's right, yeah. The road, isn't it, David? Very, very nice, yeah. I like to say, the roads around here are generally 20 times better than where we live. Yeah. Less potholes, less bumps. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a country lane, if you like, for want of a better word, isn't it? So it obviously is, you don't yeah. get too much spent on it. And the road surface is, well, very good compared to us. Certainly is. Oh, yeah, these are those corners. This one coming up, when I came here, uh, this, this one's tight coming the other way. It is. I thought, whoops. <laughs> I held on for dear life. Well, that was noisy. <laughs> I'll go back to quiet. There we go. I'm going to disturb a little hamlet coming up. Is that nice, David? I can go to a whisper scent. Okay. <laughs> Hear the birds singing everything. Oh, dear. Perfect. Excellent. 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 Really, really impressed with the Jekyll and Hyde exhaust. So quiet in villages, and uh, I really like that. And the bark and crack when you open it up. So, um, if David couldn't hear it, it must be quiet, and if David could hear it, it must be loud. <laughs> that makes sense. And the indicators are all working pretty well, as you saw earlier. Anyway, thanks very much to Steve at a bike thing and his colleague Tom for fitting everything. Brilliant company and service. I recommend you take a look at their website. See the link below. And if you've enjoyed watching today's Fen Tour, please subscribe. See you very soon. Bye-bye.